Welcome to practice. We're going to begin laying down today. With the legs bent and the feet hip width and parallel. Mm. Bringing your hands to you, really. And as you tune into your breathing, notice where you might be holding some tension at the beginning of this practice. Maybe your shoulders, your lower back, maybe a joint that needs particular care and compassion. Good. And then we're going to take the arms down by the side of the body. And as you inhale, let the arms float overhead. And as you exhale, back to your sides. Notice the natural tendency of the spine to lift as you're inhaling and taking your arms overhead. And as you exhale, Notice the natural tendency of the spine to press forward. And if you enjoy tuning into that, you can exaggerate it a little. So the spine lifts as you inhale, arms are overhead. As you bring your arms back by your side, the spine presses to the floor when you exhale. Feel the flow of that breath. Imbuing the movement with life force. Mm. Good. We're going to lift the heels up as we take the arms overhead. So lift up onto the tiptoes. Good, and as you bring the arms back by your sides, as you exhale and you press your back, put the heels back down on the floor. Good, inhaling, arms overhead, lift the heels. Press the heels. Press the back. Good. Bring both feet off the floor and the hands behind your head. Good. And we'll put the soles of the feet towards each other and the knees out wide. Good. And just to start with, simply rock across the pelvis, the lower half of your body from side to side. And try to keep the soles of the feet touching or maybe you've just got the big toes. Touching. Press your lower back into the floor. Enjoying that flow of breath. Mm. Nice and relaxed in the upper body. Ah. We're going to make it a little harder by lifting some of the weight of the upper body off the floor. So maybe your head lifts and your shoulders a little bit, but rest your head into your shoulder, uh, sorry, into your hands. Good. And let's go from side to side. Now, because you're Upper body's lifted a little. Move your elbows from side to side as well. Maybe the opposite way to the legs are going. We're pressing the lower back into the floor and try to keep your neck relaxed, even though your head is lifted. Feeling the flow, breath, that energetic movement and strength of the core. 
And then coming back to center, relax your head, hug your knees in. Ah. We're going to uh, put the left leg out straight and really hug the right knee in. Even um, gently move the knee from side to side across the joint, noticing how that might feel this morning, feeling the flow of your breath, good, and then the opposite side, and they might feel a little bit stiff, so between, will we really start working on them? Hmm. Nice work. And then we're going to roll over into all fours. A little bit of rocking back and forward and exploring your spinal wave movement. So move it as smaller movement as you like. You could do spinal wave sitting if there's a reason you can't do anything. Um, Just to see if we'd go in the other direction. <laughs> Which might be very difficult to coordinate. <laughs> mm. I'm going to just rock the hips a little bit from side to side. Good. Now you can go from here, your knees on the floor, or you can go from downward facing dog pose if you like. I'm going to go from knees on the floor and just step your right knee to the right wrist and then lift it up behind you and look up. And then right knee, right wrist, lift up behind. We're going to do that a few times. Follow the flow. You might exhale to come forward. Inhale to open the front body. Mm. Nice. Put the knees back down or the feet back down. And then exhaling, left knee forward to the left wrist. Inhaling, leg up behind. I've got my leg bent. Mm. Following the flow. And take a rest into child's pose. Keep the connection to the breath. We're going to step, uh, come back into all fours. We're going to step the right knee to the right wrist, feeling the breath. Slide your left leg back till your hips are as close to the floor as your body is comfortable with. Now you can put a support, the rolled up blanket, under your right sit bone if that feels better. Draw the shoulder blades down. Drawing that connection, calm connection with the breath. And even if there's some resistance around the hips, pelvis, letting that be in the body.
Good, and then step back so we can do the other side. Left knee forward, slide the right leg back. Your hips are as close to the floor as your body can do and bring the uh, a support under the left sit bone. Mm. Not trying to push, trying to feel like the heart center is broad and long. Accepting that there is some difficulty, some struggle here. Finding your calm connection to the breath. Good, and then slide that leg back. So we're going to swap sides, right knee forward again. Slide the left. And let's see how it feels to take the hands further out in front. So you might just walk them a little way in front. Or you might be able to bring your elbows down onto the floor. Taking it nice and slow, calm approach. Even hands out wide. Um, good, slide your hands back in. Make a little back bend before you release. Find the length of the spine. Squeeze the left gluteus muscle. And look at Beautiful. And then swapping sides. Finding your calm connection to the breath. Good. And let's take the hands out a little further. Maybe even elbows to the floor. Acknowledging the struggle of this. You can take your hands out to straight if that feels all right. So just going to that edge of enough. Trying to find an evenness across the uh, back so that you're not twisting to one side. Good, and then walk your hands back. A little bit of a back bend here, so up onto fingertips. Lengthen the spine, squeeze the right gluteus muscle. Up. Beautiful. And come back into all fours so that you can roll on up to standing. Rolling over the feet, pressing into the heels, and coming up. Um, and coming to the front of the mat. Hmm. Stand into the left foot and lift the right leg up front. Now, um, you can keep your tiptoes on the floor if you need to for your balance, or you could hold on to the back of a chair. But what we're going to do is hold the front of the right knee with the left hand. Bring the left, uh, sorry, the right hand onto the sacrum and turn to your left. The left hand is on the right knee. Right hand is on the sacrum. And you're turning your torso to the right. <laughs> Sorry, I had that all back up. Mm. Mm, lifting the spine. Good, and then releasing that side. I'll see if I can get it right this time. Correct this time. Lift up the left leg. Good, right hand onto the left knee or the left thigh if the toes are on the floor. Left hand on the sacrum and turn your torso to the left side. Mm -hmm. Relaxing your shoulders, connecting to your breath. Mm, nice work. And back into Tadasana.
So we're going to do that movement between some other postures. Inhale, arms up. Urva Hastasana. Uttanasana. Let's find really easeful back, but a stretch for the leg. So don't overdo it with how far you reach forward. But if you send your body weight forward at the front of the feet, then the back of the legs are going to stretch more. Mm. Finding a deep breath. Let's draw a circle with the top of the head. So if you were drawing a circle in front of you on a big piece of paper. <laughs> Good, and then in the other direction. Mm -hmm. Nice. Come back to center. Relax the back of your neck. Maybe nod. Oh. And then bend your knees and coming up. And the arms up. Beautiful. All right. We're going to stand into the left foot. Lift the right knee. Left hand, right knee, right hand, sacred. Lift the torso and turn, look over your right shoulder. Mm -hmm. By keeping the leg up where you've got it, releasing your arms and reaching them out so that they are parallel to the edges of your mat. Reach back with your right arm. Ooh. Good. And then release that side. <laughs> um, tadasana. Lifting up the left leg. Right hand, left knee. The left hand on the sacrum. As you lift the spine, relax your shoulders and turn to the left side. Mm. Connecting to the flow of your breath. Nice. All right, let's see if we can keep the right, uh, sorry, the, the left leg there and bring your arms out. Ah, and reach them. Mm, good, and then release. Mm, and then Uttanasana. Let's keep the back really relaxed, but give the legs a big stretch so you might try and reach forward a little more, straighten the legs a little more, lift the kneecaps, the quadriceps. Mm. Yeah. Bring your hands on to support, so either the floor or if you've got a seat of a chair there, you put your hands on that. And we're going to lift the right leg just straight up, shy of the floor. Feel the core of the body supporting the hips stay pretty level. So it's just shy of the floor, just a millimetre or so. Good, and put that foot back down. Mm. And then lift up the left foot, just shy of the floor. Ah. Ah. Beautiful. And release. And then rolling up. Arms up. Mm. Nice. Let's do our twisting standing again. So right leg up, hold either your knee or your foot, right hand onto the sacrum. So you can straighten the right leg if you've got your balance. Towards straight and looking to the right, turning the torso. You might be able to take your right arm back as well. Oh. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Ruiz and release. Oh. Ada Sana. Mm. Lifting up the left leg. Bringing your right hand onto your knee or holding your foot if you've got that kind of movement. Left hand on the sacrum. We're going to lift the torso. Turn to the left. Maybe you're straightening that left leg if you've got your balance. And left arm reaches back. You don't have to do something nutty like I am. You can be still working with your tiptoes on the floor. And really working on the twist spine. Good. And then release. Urdhvahastasana. And Uttanasana. Good. Walk the hands out as far as you can in front. So keep lengthening the sides of your waist. Draw the shoulder blades back. Let the neck be really relaxed. And feel the flow of breath. Lift your kneecaps, your quadriceps, your sit bones. Mm. Looking to ease the spine, but to stretch the legs. Good. Now we're going to bring the palms together and the arms stay by the ears and just drawing a circle with the fingertips in front of you. So that's heavier. The core is going to have to work harder to draw that circle. Just keep it small if you're vulnerable in your back. Other direction. Good, and one more, reverse direction again. Mm, you can feel that move across the uh, hamstrings. Okay, come back to centre, bend your knees and roll up. Mm, nice work. All right, let's bring the hands in front of the heart and step the left foot back for warrior two. So we've got the right heel lined up with the center of the left foot in our arch and we're going to bend the right knee. Okay, hands are at the heart. Turn your whole torso to try and look back over your left foot. So keep turning, look over your left shoulder. Good, the right leg is bent. Lift the pelvic floor. Good, and then keep the torso turning and bring your arms out from your shoulders, looking over the right leg. The hips are going to sink down a little bit. We're going to lift the pelvic floor, lift the belly. Finding the breath. Mm. Beautiful. Take your left hand down onto your left leg and lift the right arm. Reach the torso back, lift the heart. Enjoying the breath. And the hips be a little deeper. The Right knee heading to the little toe side of the foot. Beautiful. Swing both your arms to the front of the mat. Face your back foot forward. And then we're going to step forward, lift up and balance on the right foot. We're going to face forward here. Take a balance hold. Tip toes on the floor, holding your knee or holding your foot. And facing forward, lifting the spine. Finding your center. Relaxing the neck. Hmm. Good, and then releasing that side. <sighs> Arms up for Urdhva Hastasana, hands together, palms in front of the heart, palms together in front of the heart. Good, big step back, right foot 
for Vera Bedrasana 2. Wiggle, so you've got about your own leg length distance. You bend your left knee and just check in that you've got enough room to feel really your foundation. Left heel lines up with the center of the right foot in an arch. Good. Hands are at the heart. We're going to turn the whole torso. Ribs are turning, ribs are turning. Try and look back over the right shoulder. Mm. Good. Bring the arms out from the shoulders. We're going to drop the hips a little more, but lift the pelvic floor, the lower front abdomen. You're looking over your left fingertips now. Warrior two. Connecting to the flow of breath. The energetic life force. Right hand down onto your right leg and left arm lift up. Beautiful. Windmill your arm back to the front of the mat. And we're going to step forward and balance on the left leg. Mm. Taking a balance hold. Big toes might be on the floor, holding your knee, holding your foot. Find the length of your spine. Ah. And then we nice and wobbly. <laughs> All right. A little bit of squatting now. Let's use uh, a blanket if the heels are not comfortable on the floor. So you can roll it to make it higher. I just need mine set about there, which is a triple folded blanket. Now it's easier, of course, to keep your heels down. Oh, I shouldn't say, of course. <laughs> something to learn for you to figure out. If your heels are wider and your toes are turned out, generally that is um, easier to squat. But you might be working towards having your feet parallel. All right, let's squat just to where you can keep your heels on the, uh, pressing down onto your support. Good, and then we're gonna lift up from there. We're just gonna go up and down a few times. So have your knees in the direction that feels most comfortable for your knees. I'm practicing parallel legs, but you might have your knees out wide. All right, we're going to have the tailbone starting to send down to the floor. So keep your lower back nice and long. Feel the strength of the pelvic floor and the core as you squat. Just keep your heels down. Keep them pressing. Good. Squeeze the buttock muscles towards each other. Good. Go as far as you're comfortable with. Sit bones towards the floor. Then lift the pelvic floor, squeeze the buttock muscles, press the heels, and lifting up. Good. And one more of those. Feel the action, the energy of the leg and the core. You only go as far as your knees are able to do. Mm. Rest into your heel and lift the hips back up. Beautifully done. We're going to sit down now. Put your hands down on the floor, just behind the hips. <laughs> Tuck your uh, feet in close to your sit bones. A nice way to get some move, more movement in the feet is lift up onto the balls of the feet and just rock a little bit forward and back. Trying to feel that toe stretch. You can even point your knees forward. Good. So looking at the 
flexibility of your feet. A nice one to do if um, kneeling is out of the question. You don't have to put your legs at such an angle. So you could have your feet further out and even just try and rock a little bit forward and back on your ankles. Or on the balls of the feet, I should say. But it's your ankles doing the work. Oh. Hmm, nice. All right, let's take a comfortable seat. Cross-legged or legs out semi-wide if your knees don't like to bend in that way. And make a circle. Again, if we had a pencil in the top of the head, let's draw a pretty big circle. So we're drawing a big circle, like a, a lariat. Feel the core of the body. And let the shoulders feel really relaxed here. The neck feel really relaxed. And then the other direction. Mm. And back to center. We're going to make circles with the hand, the wrist, the arms and the elbows in a way that feels smooth, smooth your upper body, circles with your shoulders. Then those circles with the head around the neck. And then find a stillness, a centeredness for the spine. Connecting to your breath and the flow of breath through the spine. This time we're going to make a big circle with the top of the head, but we're going to try and reach as far forward as your movement allows. And so maybe the circle is not so much just above you, but it might be behind and in front of you. As well. Notice the work in the core of the body. Other direction. We're going to put both feet over on the right side and if you put your blanket under your left sit bone it'll help you sit up a little taller. Um, Left foot in the sole of the right foot. Lengthening the spine and turning around to your left side and you're going to look over your left shoulder. Good. Now, if you were to lean back, see how that stretches more intensely the skin, those belly muscles on the left. So lean back and see if you can turn your belly a little more. Left ribs back, right ribs reaching over to the left. Good. And you can either stay there or come back up to more perpendicular to the floor. But try and feel that more intense sensation of stretch in the belly, in the side core. Ah, shoulder blades relax, neck relax. Oh, Beautiful. And then release. 
and back to center and swapping sides. Bharadva Jasana, which means wise sage. <laughs> Maybe the wisdom is in being curious, being compassionate. You put something under your right sit bone so you feel even enough. Good. And then we turn to the right. Just notice where the sensation is. If you take the right ribs back further, what does that feel like? In the abdomen, in the right thigh. Oh. And if you were to slide your right hand back and really lean back as well as turn, can you turn even further now? Mm. You can either stay leaning back, experiencing that twist of the ribs in the belly, or sitting back more upright. It's a classic posture. Mm. And releasing. Bring the legs back to center. Comfortable legs for you. Mm, sides of the waist should feel nice and long <laughs> now. All right, we're going to uh, do a, just a simple twist to the left side, right hand on the left leg, and find the breath, the exhalation. The letting go of the breath, the movement of the diaphragm. And notice how when you find the breath, there's so much more room for you. Mm. Good. Now holding that twist, we'll bring the left arm by the left ear. And we're going to reach the torso to the right. Good. So we keep the torso twisting, but also start to explore the forward and Curious compassion. So you've got a lot of movement here. Head the right shoulder in front of the right knee. Ah. And then coming back up. We'll change the cross of the legs if they're crossed. And turning to your right side, finding the breath. Feeling of the diaphragm moving. Letting go of the breath. The diaphragm retracts into the chest cavity. See how there's more room to move the belly. Ah. Exploring your potential. Beautiful. Now keep the turn of the ribs, but let's reach the left rib over the left thigh. Bring the right arm up by the right ear. So lengthening the sides of the waist and with curious compassion, reaching to where your body might be. In the sides of the neck along. Mm. Good, and then inhale. Mm. We up. Mm. Lie down. <laughs> Just done those lovely twists. So don't really need to do that on the floor. Let's just hug the knees in. Feel the shape of the back. Letting the shoulders relax. The neck and throat relax. Feel the 
feel the length of the spine. The feeling of the hips. Recalling what they felt like at the beginning of the practice. Well, now. You need to finish your practice now. Please roll over to your right. Then come up to sitting. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Feel the length of your spine. Find your connection to this breath. Take that feeling with you. Namaste.